Welcome back to Learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create candlestick charts. So I'm going to go over the basic principles and I'm just going to use simple shapes. First let's use the rectangle tool and we'll define our basic unit that we're going to use with these values in the top menu. So width and height. But let me first change it to pixels in the drop down. It's important to use the same unit for every shape that you create under height. Let us just use 100. So when we copy them, press Ctrl D and stack them on top three times, we know that it's 300. Or we could also just copy this one and then use the top menu. For example, use 657 if we have that value in our statistic. Or we can just type it in, reposition it, and then hold control when you drag it to the right, it's on the same horizontal level now. Let me create two copies. Usually you would use red and green colors. You can use basic swatches or just use the slider down here and maybe use these. The next element of these charts is always a line. Just use the Bezier tool for that. Hold control and then two times left click. Once again, width and height to define the basic unit. Width doesn't make a difference here as it's only a stroke, but height does. So let's say 300 is our basic unit. But if you want to make it thicker, go to object fill and stroke and we'll have to adjust on a stroke style the width of the line. Here the width of the stroke. Once again, use pixels so that we have the same units. And we can once again press Ctrl D to copy that and then stack them. Or we can just copy it, press Ctrl D and then use the top menu and readjust the height. But in this case, if you do that, be aware that you're also adjusting the stroke. So if I copy this, you can see that we've got now two different values for the width of the stroke. So adjust it manually afterwards by selecting it and then go to 15. I've used that for all of these lines. If you want to position them on top of your bars, so let me just pick this one as an example. You can see that it snaps to the center because I've got the snapping enabled. Right here. And I've also got the snapping for the item rotation center active. So that helps. Put the bar on top. And you've got these typical candlesticks. Let me use another one again, but obviously I have to use pixels, so you can see you have to be careful not to use millimeters or switch these units. Always pick the same. It's also a good idea to group these lines, so select all elements of it and Ctrl G to group it. Now let's assume you've got less space at the bottom, more at the top in your statistics. You can just create a new rectangle and make snap to pass active. Use this as a unit to determine the distance. So let's say we only have 100 at the bottom. So we can now use it, position it to the bar and then position the line accordingly. So the top is now bigger than the bottom, but we have to find the center of the bar. And once again, we can use this object, so this black bar to find it. We know that our green bar is 300 in height, so we have to make the black bar 150. And now it snaps with the top corner to the center position. Let me zoom in. 
and then we position a line and we found the center. So this I can create that. Always group these objects, so Control G on all elements. And now the final thing that we need is the system for it. Just hold Control, left click three times, adjust the width. Let me use 15 here as well. And now use the type tool to create the values that you need. I'm just going to give you an example here. I'll use 100. Let me rotate that so double click on it and I'll control when I rotate it and I'll set it up holding control and shift. I want to have no strokes, so I'll hold shift and click on the X. I want to have a fill that's black, so I'll click on the black color swatch. Once again, I like to use the basic units right here to determine the distance that I need. So the snapping helps and I'll press Ctrl D to copy them. Once you've got them all, select them, click on the X to get rid of the fill, and then hold Shift and click on the black color swatch to give it a stroke. Now you can use the number and position that to the right snapping point. Now once you've found it, just hold Control and drag it to the right hand side. To determine the center point for the number, just create a second line and then use the notes tool or control when you drag it upwards. Press control D on the number. Press T to activate the type tool and adjust it. And then hold control when you drag it to the right hand side and it should snap. So now everything is in line and at the correct position. You can use the same method for the x-axis. Just copy the all, control D, rotate it, the selection tool, reposition it, and then use the same approach. Also use the boxes to position these candlesticks in the x and y-axis. And once you've got it all, just delete them and delete the lines that have helped you. And this is how you can create these candlestick bars in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.